Good evening. Happy Mother's Day to the mothers out there. And uh, since today is Mother's Day, I decided to make a video about my dealing with mothers over the years. Of just mothers of women that was in my life, relationships that I've been in or whatever. And what I've learned over the years of like, I'm gonna say failed relationships that I was in. What did I learn from them and how did I become better? What did it do to make me a better man towards relationships that I may end up in in the near future? <clears throat> and uh, then looking back over some of the mistakes that I made, you know, considering that I didn't, just based on what, oh man, it's hot out here. <laughs> it's humid out here in Mobile, Alabama, y'all. So bear with me with the sweat, but, uh, so I look back over some of the relationships I was in and the things that I did wrong that, you know, now that I look back over, like what I could have done better and probably still be with some of those women. You know, not, I'm not gonna take into account the things that they did wrong. I'm talking about things that I did that I could have done better. And uh, like say for instance, when you, you know, when I and the woman would have disagreements with them, and a lot of men do this to this day, right now still. And maybe this will reach somebody, can help somebody, you know, learn, especially men, you know, not that I'm the authority on how a man should be, I'm just telling you what I've learned. And one of the main things is, is a man should always keep his composure, no matter what's going on. So say for instance, you and your girl, or you know, who you're in a relationship with, your wife or whoever it may be, a man should never find himself raising his voice, screaming and yelling in any situation dealing with his woman. You know, like, uh, y'all, you know, had a disagreement or whatever, she did something you don't like or, or whatever, you you thinking that you gotta fuss and holler and yell and scream to get your point across to make her understand where you're coming from, but that ain't, that ain't gonna do nothing. The man should always remain composed on an even keel because he's, he's supposed to be coming from a position of leadership and nobody wants to see a leader losing control. Imagine being on a, uh, like a plane or something like that, and y'all looking to the captain of the plane for, you know, strength and guidance or whatever. You know, he's supposed to know what he's doing. He need to be calm at all times, no matter what's going on. So what if something happened with the plane, the plane you experienced turbulence or whatever, or something go wrong with the plane, and the captain up there panicking and hollering and screaming, what they gonna do with the passenger? That's gonna make everybody else panic if they look at the captain, he up that nothing up. The captain always got to remain calm and show a position of strength. Even if he's scared as fuck, he still needs to be calm for the people that he's leading. So they can look at him and they not panic, no matter how scared he may be. And uh, so I learned that over, you know, over years of uh, making that mistake of arguing with women. Uh, even if I was right, you don't argue, man. You don't raise your voice at women. You don't fuss. You don't do none of that. That's, that's, that's women stuff. That's how women do. That's emotional. A man don't do that. A man just, he just stated his case and he threw it. All that arguing and fussing and hollering and screaming, we, we, we're not supposed to do that. So uh, that's one thing I learned that, you know, it, it garners respect from the woman you with. When she see that you ain't a man about all that hollering and screaming and all that old kind of uh, woman behavior, she respects you more. And one thing, that the respect is more important than love. It's better for your woman to respect you than it is for her to love you. Love comes and goes, but respect stays. If your woman loves you, but she don't respect you, she can do, she can still mess over you, even though she loves you. As long as she don't get caught, she's gonna be all right. But if she respect you, she ain't gonna do that old foolishness. Even if she don't, even if she stopped loving you, if she got respect for you, she ain't gonna act a fool. I done seen women uh, mistreat men that they love, but I ain't never seen a woman mistreat a man she respected. So I prefer respect over love. You can, I don't care if you love me or not, you gonna respect me. I prefer respect. You can keep that I love you stuff. I done learned that the hard way over too. I don't, I don't wanna hear you I love you. I wanna hear I respect you. So, and in order to garner that respect, there's certain things a man got to do a certain way he has to be to earn that respect. And uh, so another one is that I learned that I used to be, I used to hang with these guys, right? 
And they was always like, you don't supposed to give them nothing. You don't give no woman no money. You don't take her there. That's all they wanted, money, money, money. You know, they'll, you know, they'll use you there, whatever. So I, was, I, I thought for a long time, you're supposed to give a woman no money. Even in relationships, she just wants you for your money. That's what I was thinking. So, you know, that didn't work out too well. And then I found out later on, like, you shouldn't be with a woman like that. A man should be able to tell what kind of woman he got. So if you got a gold digging woman that just wants you for your money, you shouldn't be in a relationship with her no way. So that eliminates that problem. Don't be with a woman that wants you just for your money. So when you get you a good woman, she's worthy of being taken care of. She's worthy of providing for her. Well, she ain't got to worry about all that. That's, that's eliminate, that eliminates that problem. Don't, don't get with a gold digger. All women are not gold diggers. So I learned that over time. That was a mistake that I made. That, you know, I didn't want to give him no money because I thought that's all he wanted. And when, in which ain't nothing wrong because just by nature a man's supposed to provide and take care of his family. That's just new age stuff with these independent women and they don't need a man for that. I don't want no woman like that. A man is supposed to provide by nature. It's in his, it's in his DNA to provide for his family. And that includes his woman and his kids. And if you can't afford to do that, you don't need to have one. You're supposed to wait until you're able to provide before you even get off of just some new stuff we're doing now, just get a woman whether you're broke or not. You know, yeah, yeah. that ain't how that's supposed to be. So uh, those are just two important things that I learned over the years that if I had to do different, I would do, you know, I would do that, those things different. And uh, I would be more, uh, I would say I, I wasn't, I was too rigid, I would say. Even though I'm a fun loving, outgoing person, I was so concerned with what she might think of me that I, I wanted to always put up this image that I wasn't nothing to play with, even though I, I was, I wasn't that guy. And uh, so I would say just let your, let, let your guards down, but always be a, a man that's about his business um, don't be afraid to provide and take care of your woman, but make sure it's a woman that's worthy of that. Don't be yelling and screaming, getting all out of character. That is not a man's character to panic. Stay a man's supposed to show strength at all times, even if he ain't feeling strong. You still have to show strength for the people that he's leading. And one that might sound not, you know, it, it, it might sound crazy to some of y'all, but a man should never cry in front of his people, his kids or his woman. You never cry in front of them. I ain't say a man don't cry, but you don't cry in front of your people. That is the biggest form of weakness for a man. You cannot let your people who are depending on you to be strong, to protect and provide for them. They can't see you nothing up. Even if you feel like nothing up, you need to go out somewhere and do that. Don't do that in front of them. Quicker where your act. I mean, they. I know you hear them say they want to see your sensitive side. You better not let them see that. Cry, don't don't you cry in front of that woman or your kids. Or do not let them see you crying. Now I know you might hear differently. You know, in this world we live in, they, we raised as a society and a generation of weak men, and it's all right. They think that's all right. Do not cry in front of your woman, man. Listen to me. Don't cry in front of your woman for no reason at all. You feel like crying, you better, hey, I'll be right back. You go out somewhere and do it. Don't do it in front of her. So keep those things in mind. I just wanted to make this quick video on Mother's Day. And you ladies have a happy Mother's Day. And I'll see y'all on the flip side.